Better light too. Hello, beautiful reader. I am Thomas. I have been Vagan's loyal friend in our dark matter sustained magical world. I transitioned with Wagan to the new world of lesser elemental magic known as shadow light. Unfortunately, my body could not travel through the dimensional door leading us to this new world. My soul made the journey alone and entered a metal object. The spear Wagan now carries. Wagan interrupts my reflection. What must we do now, Wagan? You said we had to hunt down Mobius? I spoke within Wagan's thoughts. His full name is Mobius Iden. That shall be important to recall when we confront the demon. It is also important for you, Wagan, to attempt to form an emotional connection with either myself or with the sorceress Agnes, whom you shall soon meet. My unique demon slaying power is dependent on my wielder, showing selfless loyalty to another soul. I possess detached eyes that hovered above my metal form. I perpetually gazed in every direction with my four invisible eyes. With supernatural eyesight, I peered across the white lit grassland plain surrounding us for endless miles until I spotted three approaching human men. They appeared tall even from a great distance. Two of the men possessed magnificently full beards. The third fellow sported a minimal amount of facial hair, as I informed Wagen of the men. We patiently waited for them. When the human man with the feeble facial hair finally came within speaking distance of Wagen, he pointed a rude finger at my friend's chest, yelling out, other world man, Flamma sent me. My name is Mustar. The men beside me are the twin brothers, Braun and Brog. Follow us now. We shall guide you to Border Town. Follow them, Wagon. Flamma, like Agnes, are our allies on this world. Flamma told me he would send a guide to lead us to Border Town. That is the town we believe Mobius shall soon attempt to control. I instruct Wagon. I suffered the humility of being held in Mustar's warm hand as we crossed the rolling grassland for 16 hours before making our first camp. During that time, I caught Mustarg staring at the side of Wagen's masculine, illusionary face with cold, dark brown eyes. Is he jealous? Wagen's illusionary human form is of a Dampir ally of Flamma and Agnes, who Mobius slew. My illusion of the fellow had been unblemished. The man's jaw, Wagen's illusionary jaw, is curved like a scimitar and appears as if it were cut from granite stone rock. He possesses long and bushy brows, eyebrows. A broad nose with flaring nostrils adorns his strong face. His long black hair does not add any femininity to his Neanderthal-looking face that radiates ancient man masculinity. Wagen does not notice the disdain of the big human man sporting the mouse-like mustache. What you may not yet have been told is that the appearance you chose on my world is that of my rival. The man's name was Toreg. He had been like me. He had been Dampir, said Mustar, as if the mention of being Dampir should unnerve Wagen. He speaks truthfully of Toreg. I silently informed Wagen within his troubled thoughts. After being carried in Fallen's grip for nearly 50 hours, we made camp for the third time, the third endless day of white light. Mustard did need to eat as a damper, yet he pretended to eat in front of the twin brothers who were ordinary humans. Dampiers on Shadow Light were agents of the Creator of God, given only a pinch of unliving dark force to help them slay the evil undead and the demonic. Ron and Brog openly showed their surprise as they watched Mustard hand plate after plate of salted beef and other provisions to Wagen. Fortunately for Wagen's vast appetite, Mustard's bag had been enchanted to hold 2,000 pounds of it. When we stopped to make our seventh day of camp, Wagen finally released me from his hot, wet grip. I experienced the joy of soft grass reaching up to embrace my metal form. Mustard whispered into Wagen's illusionary human form that night. He said harshly, Torek had not needed to eat as a dampier man, yet you eat like a horse. What are you, other world traveler? Are you even a man? Seven days later, we reached Border Town, end of chapter two. Read description for Shadowlight game novel, question of loyalty as the character Wagen. Choose A or B in 